Some underwear, you probably don't want to see too much of that. Ludo cream, in case I get a bum rash. <laughs> Hi there, my name is uh, Simon Fisher, or they're probably better known as Sci-Fi, and I'm the navigator for uh, 11th Hour Racing Team. And uh, today, I'm going to show you a little bit about what's in my kit bag. Only four pairs of pants for a month. <laughs> As you can see, it's a big kit bag and it's very full because ahead of leg three, we're about to do, I think, what is the longest ocean race leg we've ever done. So, uh, yeah, normally we try and pack light and take as little as possible, but uh, with the prospect of maybe 35, even 40 days at sea, I've made sure I've squeezed in as much as possible. First up, got my Dynamic Pro shoes. Uh, most of this leg's going to be sailed in boots, no doubt, but. Uh, Looking forward to getting the shoes on when the weather gets nice. It's a pretty unstable platform on the boat, so it's good to have a good pair of shoes to, uh, to run around in. And these ones have been good. They've, uh, they've done well and not got too smelly, so that's, uh, that's super important. I've got the uh, technical t-shirts. We've got long sleeve and, uh, and also short sleeve. And uh, yeah, this is like the, the, the thing you'll be wearing every day for, uh, yeah, every day of this leg probably with thermals underneath or not in the sun and in the cold. Um, they're actually very good. You can wear these things for uh, in excess of two weeks. They stay light, they don't get too smelly. They get a little bit dirty after a while, but the, this one's done most of leg two and, and leg one, I think, and it's, it's still looking pretty fresh. So uh, yeah, really important bit of kit. Has our name on the back, so uh, yeah. If anyone forgets our name, then they know who we are. <laughs> Next up in, in this little section of my bag, I've got, uh, yeah, I've got my LPX shorts. We sail a lot inside now, but there's always a certain amount of dampness around. So even when the water's not rushing against the deck, it's really nice to have a, a waterproof layer on the outside. Uh, what else we got in here? Uh, a pair of board shorts, hopefully when things get sunny. Some underwear, you probably don't want to see too much of that. That's all in there. A few changes for a 35 day leg, but I think only, uh, only four pairs of pants for a month. <laughs> this one's probably one of the most important for the next uh, 35 days, because this has got the thermals in. We've got our Merino HPX thermals. There's the trousers. Nice bit of protection on the bum and the knees. We do a lot of crawling around in these boats. It's, uh, yeah, it's all pretty close inside and you get bumped around a lot. So having a bit of extra protection on your, uh, on your thermals, even when you're in your underwear is, is pretty important. And then here we have the top half as well. Really nice base layer and uh, yeah, fits close to your skin. It's very comfortable. Uh, it's merino wool, so you can wear it for a lot of days in a row, and uh, yeah, it, it really doesn't get smelly because it's natural fibres. So uh, yeah, certainly for the last few races, this has been my uh, my go-to thermal. And uh, normally, all you need to wear they're actually pretty warm, and and conversely, actually pretty good when things get warmer, they don't get too hot. So uh, it's a really nice, uh, really nice base layer. Got a spare set as well. Uh, it's, it's always a bit of a balance about how much kit you take. You don't want to take too much, but you always want to know there's something dry in your kit bag. So uh, having some spares is important. Next up in here, we got the, uh, the shell Gore-Tex jacket. We do a lot of sailing under the roof. So uh, we're not always in the, in the waves and the, and the spray like we used to be. But uh, it's always kind of damp, kind of wet. And especially in the Southern Ocean, there's a lot of condensation in the, in the inside of the boat. So uh, it's really nice to be able to have this jacket on, even if it's, sometimes it's just over a t-shirt, sometimes it's over your, all your thermals, depending on how hot or cold it is. But it means you can, uh, yeah, you can stay comfy, you stay warm and you can lean on anything and lean against anything and it, and it keeps you dry. You're not soaking up all the water. So uh, this has been really a, a go-to piece of kit for uh, sailing in this Amoka class. And this bag is all the, uh, yeah, all the accessories. Yeah, it's good to accessorize, that's for sure. I've got some Musta Gore-Tex gloves. They're going to make their debut in this race, but uh, yeah, under the cover in the Amoka when it's cold and, uh, and not too wet, these are going to be, uh, yeah, something really nice. Keep, keep my hands dry and, uh, and hopefully in one piece because I get pretty worn out. Uh, something that's been very important for me in this ocean race, I, I spend a lot of time on my knees. Uh, as a navigator, we have a, a big screen downstairs and uh, the easiest way to sort of access that is on your knees. I also spend a lot of time grinding in the pit and uh, yeah, a long, large period of my time is, is spent on my knees. So I've got these Musto knee pads with a D3O in there. And uh, these go on every time I go sailing now, just to look after my knee. Wet suit gloves when it gets wet. Musto Evolution socks. I think these are on their third race, maybe. Maybe even their fourth. So uh, it's 
speaks to the longevity of the kit. We've got the thin ones here uh, and some thick ones here for, for the really cold stuff. Again, I think I got these in either the 08 race or the 11 12 race, so they're going strong. <laughs> Are they lucky? Uh, no, they're just socks. <laughs> Another good bit of kit is the duck hat. It's waterproof, fleecy inside, and uh, yeah, it's good to keep your head dry. A little bit of sun protection if you need it, but uh, yeah, these are always a really good bit of kit. And uh, yeah, actually when it's wet on deck and there's a lot of spray, it really helps sort of protect your head and keep the spray off. So it's quite stylish, isn't it? It's like the, we, we, we always call them the duck hunter hat or the duck hat, because you can fold the ears up. But <laughs> I mean, the good thing is, yeah, the, the kit now, it, you can wear it a long time. It doesn't smell up too much. The Merino with the natural fibers, you can wear day after day after day after day. So uh, yeah, you don't need to take too much. It's always nice to have something like extra in your bag for if it gets a bit colder or if you are unlucky and, and happen to get wet. But we really want, don't want to take too much. So having kit that you know you can wear, maybe it's not the nicest to uh, wear the same clothes for two weeks, but it's, it's, it's really easy to be easily doable, especially when it's cold and you're not sweating a lot. And, and having good breathable gear means you're not sweating too much. So uh, really for, for yeah, over a month on the boat, you don't need much more than that. Cut.